Ooh, a fancy camera. Hello ladies and gents of the internet. Today I'm going to be doing the first video of a series that I'm hoping to do of Disney bounds for guys that are inexpensive. It seems like a lot of Disney bounds are really expensive to put together, so I really wanted to put together a bunch of different clothes that you could wear, that you could Disney bound, and that could be used for guys, since a lot of Disney bounds seem to be made for girls. And of course, I had to start off with my favorite princess, Sleeping Beauty. Now, I had an internal struggle when I decided that I was going to do her. I didn't want to do the blue dress, because with Cookie Monster blue pants and a pointed button-up shirt and a white belt just wouldn't really translate well. And going with hot pink seemed like a really bad 70s workout video and I didn't want to go there. So I decided to go a little more on the traditional side and go for a Briar Rose Disney bound, which seemed a little bit easier to put together rather than finding those really kooky colors to use for the blue or the pink dress. Not to mention the fact that I already have issues with a pink dress being her main portrayal, and I like the idea of using Briar Rose. Um, so to start off, So to start off, if you look at Briar Rose, she has grayscale colors. Typically when Disney tries to re-portray her, they do a look um, Typically when Disney re-portrays her, they include a lot more purples into it. So I wanted to stay close to that, but I also wanted to be a little more on the traditional side. I got these really... <clears throat> I got these dark gray pants at Target. They were on the clearance rack. They are denizen pants, and they were only $9.48 with my Target red card. You can either get a credit card or a debit card. I have the debit one. You just bring in a check and they'll set it all up for you and you get 5% off every time. And for someone like me that shops at Target a whole lot, it's really helped me save a lot of money. And anytime you can pinch even just a single penny or two, it helps in the long run, I promise you. Next, I found this One Star Henley shirt. This was also on the clearance rack. And I only paid $4.48 for this. To complete the traditional outfit, I used a vest that I already owned. It's a black vest that I got from H&M and it was about $22. And if you're trying to save more money, then it's not very hard to find a nice vest at a Goodwill or a second-hand store. But generally speaking, a really nice vest is a good idea to invest in. So the $22 is going to go a long ways if you're planning on using the vest for other things. I use my vest for a lot of stuff. So it's helpful to just spend that money early on. And if you already have a vest, then it already works perfect. You don't have to worry about getting anything else. And if the two items that I got at the clearance rack at Target are not available at your local Target, you can always find clothes that are very similar to that. Just look for something on the cheap side. And always look at the clearance racks at the back of the clothing aisles. They have really great stuff that often gets overlooked. Now I got two accessories for my Disney Bound. Because I wanted to kind of get into that idea that they like to redraw Princess Aurora as Briar Rose in more purple schemes, and because I really like Meriwether as a character, I wanted to get a belt that would reflect Meriwether as well as the purple themes, and since purple is my favorite color, this belt was just too perfect. It is a blue and purple belt that has a black back and then a white front and I got this again on clearance except I got this one at Hot Topic and I don't know how long these are going to be on a clearance there were quite a few of them at the Hot Topic at my mall if you wanted to do something similar to this and you wanted to have a belt that had colors you could always just get a plain studded one and there's lots of different colors of paints that you can get probably at your local craft store and you can just do this on your own with a glossy paint and then try to get like some kind of glossy finish to finish over it and it'll be nice and shiny and it'll be really cool and I think that it just kind of added a little more to the outfit. And finally I found this in one of the clearance shelves of Target. Clearance is my thing if you can't tell. This is a really fun little owl that I found and apparently it's a coin purse, though I don't see a zipper for it. When it showed up on the receipt, it said coin purse, and it was about a dollar that I paid for it, and it's just really cute, and it was nice because Briar Rose walks around, and that owl kind of chases her around and tries to woo her and pretends to be Prince Philip, and so I thought it was fun, and it's also blue and purple, and it's got a little bit of pink on it, so I think it accurately represented the movie on a number of different levels, and so it was just fun. I clipped it to the side of my pants on my belt loop. I didn't think it 
it was just, it was fun, and I like little things like this that are involved in Disney Bounds, especially since Briar Rose doesn't have a necklace or anything like Princess Aurora does, so it's nice to have an extra little thing to really push the idea that you are Disney bounding that particular character rather than just wearing some pretty basic looking clothes because these are kind of nicer dress clothes if you were doing like a, a casual dressing so it couldn't it could be conveyed that you're just dressing nicely rather than actually Disney bounding a character so this was a nice way to kind of finish it off if you liked this video and you would like to see more videos like it I really would like to do more Disney bounding tips and stuff like that and trying to show how you can do Disney bounds on a budget so if you would like that please leave a comment below saying that you want to see more of this and you should definitely like it and let me know if you want to see more and if you would like to see more who specifically that you would like to see in the future and I can start working on ideas for that. I have an idea for Snow White that I really would like to do at some point in the future but we'll see how that goes and if that actually happens. And now here are some pictures that Jacob took because I dragged him out to the park to take pictures of me and my Disney bound. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all again next time. Peace out. You take him off. Cool.